the train is coming back to Jim Thorpe. Passenger seating coming next month to the Lehigh Gorge Scenic Railway once lost. That means a boost for the economy and tourism from Jim Thorpe to Carbon County and the entire Pocono region. There have been so many tourists coming into the tourism agency to the visitor center in Jim Thorpe and asking where's the train? When's the train coming back? I came to ride the train and it's not here. Uh, so we are super excited that we can now say the train is back and uh, hopefully uh, bring those those visitors back to our area. The saga of on again, off again takes the latest turn back onto the tracks for the Reading Blue Mountain and Northern, as well as Lehigh Gorge Scenic Railways. We couldn't be more excited that the train is coming back to town and it's, it's just an incredible asset to have here in the Pocono Mountains, especially now with the pandemic upon us. Trains were originally stopped in fall of 2019 over a tax dispute with the borough, many missing the scenic passenger and bike trains. It's a big draw for tourists throughout the Poconos, pumping up the economy at a critical time. We're seeing some guest counts that are down slightly. Having the train back is going to be an incredibly incredible boost for um, not only Jim Thorpe, but for the Pocono Mountains, so we're incredibly excited about it. Tourists from across the country descend yearly onto this NEPA destination, and while the train is a major draw, the wealth is spread. Yeah, because they don't just come to ride the train, they come to eat in our restaurants, they come to ride on our on the DNL trail, they come to Whitewater Raft and other things. So. With about 150, 200,000 people visiting and riding that train, it's a 40 to 50 million dollar asset as far as economic spinoff and benefit as we calculated it. It's definitely, it's no question that the train is a game changer. In the train's absence, the community has come together to get by, but with bars, restaurants, and local retail taking the brunt of it. We haven't really not seen an influx of tourism uh, this year. People come from the city to us because we're outdoors. We don't have a lot of uh, population, and so they feel safe uh, to get away here. The hope is that with reopening and the return of the train, the local economy will get that boost. At the same time, at what cost? Thousands coming to this area is good for business, but could make it difficult to navigate COVID restrictions. The Pocono Visitors Bureau says from what they've seen, there's an understanding. Guests are, are very used to the fact now that they have to take responsibility to help mitigate and control the virus themselves. We're seeing that more and more and more throughout the Poconos, and guests are also demanding that anywhere they visit takes that very, very seriously as well. Whether visiting to escape or just taking a trip within the region for relaxation, <laughs> there's confidence. But as long as everyone abides by the CDC rules and guidelines, wears their face masks, keeps six foot apart, uh, you know, just all the normal things that we've been accustomed to over the past couple months. Uh, and as long as everyone is just smart about it, I think we'll be okay. With a staple of the Jim Thorpe, Carbon County, and Pocono Mountain communities returning. I don't want to say a light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> and it's not an oncoming train for a change, so it'll be nice. In Jim Thorpe. Kevin Hayes. Eyewitness News.